we need to prepare for is not a capability to fight a war, but what we need to prepare for immediately and urgently is the capability to respond to any foreseeable contingencies. Labag sa konstitusyon ng Pilipinas ang makisali sa gera ng ibang bansa. Gayunman, sinabi ni National Security Council Deputy Director General Michael Eric Castillo na hindi tayo dapat maging kampante sakaling sumiklab ang gera sa mga kalapit bansa. Remember that in in this part of the region, we, there are four flash points uh, uh, for conflict. You have the Senkaku in Japan, you have uh, the North Korea issue, you have the Taiwan issue, and you also have the West Philippine Sea issue. Aniya, maaari tayong maipit sa crossfire, kaya dapat pa rin natin itong paghandaan. So, we have to prepare for any contingencies that might happen in the immediate future. And that is the kind of capability that our defense and security se sector must prepare for. Sinabi din ni Castillo na walang dahilan para magsimula ng gera ang China laban sa Estados Unidos dahil lamang sa ginawang pagbisita ni U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi sa Taiwan. There is no reason for China to initiate a, an, an, an open armed conflict with the U.S. just, just because of a Pelosi visit. Remember that is a non-material interest or value. It's only, if at all, ideational value that China is so concerned about. It's also not in the not in the interest of the U.S. to start or to to uh, trigger uh, an armed confrontation with China uh, because uh, it is in the interest of the U.S. to keep the status quo. Uminit ang tensyon sa pagitan ng China at Taiwan dahil nais ng China na mapa sa ilalim muli sa kanilang bansa ang Taiwan sa ilalim ng One China Policy na mahigpit namang tinututulan ng Taiwan. Leia Ilagan, UNTV, News and Rescue. Diyos ang aming sandigan, serbisyo publiko ang aming pinahahalagahan.